there's a new update out for Topaz Sharpen AI, and honestly, it's really good. And in fact, I've got to show it to you. If you have photographs with noise in them and you want to see an incredible job of how to run a denoise program, this is it. So let me, uh, let me stop talking. We'll go ahead and get into the video. Hi, my name is William Beam. I'm a photographer just like you. And occasionally I've had to shoot in low light where I've got a lot of noise because there just simply wasn't an alternative. So let me show you the photograph that I've got today that we're going to be looking at and just how good Topaz Denoise AI, I think version two is doing on this. It, it, to me, it's just amazing. So let's go ahead. Some of you may recognize this scene. It's from the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Walt Disney World. And if you've ever been on a dark ride, you know it's practically impossible to take a, a decent photograph without some noise in there. As you can see over here, I am shooting at ISO 25,600. And if we come and take a look at this, I'm going to zoom in to 200%. You can see there's just extreme noise all over the place. And, you know, even the golden retriever down here just looks completely crappy with noise. We're going to do something amazing with this, and I want to show you how. Okay, this is Topaz Denoise AI version 3.2. I made a mistake earlier when I said version 2. So version 3.2 is the one that you want to see. As of this recording in July 2021, that's the current version. So we're going to go ahead and load that photo up. I've exported the raw file to my desktop. There it is. We're going to open that up. So we're dealing with the highest quality image that I can get. And also it is the highest quality of noise in an image that I think I have of any photo that's even close to useful. So what it's going to do first off is load the image up. It's going to take a little while because one, I've got an old machine and two raw files tend to be larger than JPEGs or, you know, some other things. All right. So we see right off the bat that there's the noise down here in the corner. You can see where the preview is starting and this is going to happen no matter what you select over here. It's using my latest choice, which was severe noise and automatic settings. And I'm just going to give this a little bit of time. So this updates, and then we'll take a look at the difference. All right, it's done. And you can see a dramatic change when I move around there was a little bit of noise there for a moment, but the preview you can see down here is updated. I'm not really seeing noise in this image anymore. This is nearly a usable photo. I mean, there's other issues with it. You know, there's a lot of harsh light on here. The exposure is something else that we could work on another program. But as far as the noise, this is at a hundred percent zoom and it looks usable. I didn't touch anything other than choosing severe noise and auto on my previous setting. And we've got a couple of other options here. We can brighten this so we can add or brighten, or excuse me, and we can add brightness to dark parts of the image. That's not really what I do. What I'd rather, rather do is kind of uh, take some brightness away from the, the little model's uh, pants on here. But other than that, this is really cool. So it's at 100%. I'm going to go ahead and bring this up to 200%. You're going to see the noise come back. So every time you change your zoom level or if you move it around you have to generate another preview so you can see again how much noise here and it's not the same kind of noise you've got a lot of color noise in here and of course over here on the side you can see where there's color noise reduction you've got a slider to recover your original detail you have a slider to remove noise or to enhance sharpness i'm not setting any of that stuff this is all on automatic settings so if i click over here where it says the little question mark by settings you can see where it says remove more noise and enhance the sharpness of the image or select auto to let denoise AI do the work for you. And that's essentially what I've done. I've let the AI decide what's best for this. The nice part about AI is that it learns from all the different images. And if you want to submit your results, come down here to the corner, you'll see, I like this result. I dislike this result. So you can give feedback and that helps the AI train off of the photographs that you're working on to send back to Topaz Labs, and then they can update their algorithm. So this is kind of user-generated training as well as all the work that they did. So I actually like this result for 
the denoise, which is exactly what you know this program is doing. I'm not worried about exposure issues or other problems. What you're really voting on here is, do you like the result for denoising? And yes, I do. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And you can see there's a little thank you for your feedback. So I've uh, submitted two pieces of feedback and it makes an impact upon their products. And that is just from severe noise. Now, not every photograph you have is going to have severe noise. That's why you have optional settings over here for the standard and clear and low light. It really depends on what kind of image or noise problem you're trying to select. So this one on low light is probably what I would have defaulted to before the severe noise came out with this version of Topaz Denoise AI. And it would help. We'll go ahead and see the results here. And that's better. It's not bad. It's not as good as the severe noise. You can see that there's a big change in the fur on the dog on back over here. But quite honestly, I can still see a little bit of noise. The severe noise really, I think, did an outstanding job. And I'm not going to default to severe noise. It's Most of my photos do not run at 25,600 ISO. So I don't necessarily want to go to that extreme. But for something like this, that was a snapshot I took on a dark ride at Walt Disney World. The severe noise option did an outstanding job. Noise is something that I have been battling with as a photographer since digital photography came out. The original cameras and, you know, the early models that I had, the sensors just simply did not have the capability of capturing something above maybe 1200 ISO with usable uh, noise. And now this is captured a few years back on a Nikon D800. And I love that camera. I thought it does a very good job. As a matter of fact, I still have it. I still use it. And the newer models of cameras can probably do an even better job of handling noise issues. But if you're still like me, shooting with an older camera like a D800, a D700, or any circumstance where you're getting noise, I would really recommend Denoise AI. And if you like that, I have an affiliate coupon code. It is WBeam Photo. I'll make sure I put that in the description below. That will give you 15% off of any Topaz AI software. So Denoise is obviously what I recommend. It's what I use. And there are some other wonderful Topaz products out there. So please go ahead, take a look at them. And if you want to save 15%, use the coupon code WBeam Photo. Hey, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me. I hope you appreciated this. If you did, please click the like button. That will tell YouTube that we're doing something right. We're helping other photographers and they will share this with more people. They'll get to see the video. It helps the channel grow and it doesn't take that much of your time. So we'll see you again in the next video.